Shalom Akim. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Raka, Kodash, and double honor unto my apostles and others of Great Millstone, and salutations to the sincere brothers that's doing the will of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, the true name of who the world ignorantly calls God and Jesus Christ. Okay, I don't have a title yet for this lesson, but this lesson is inspired off of a lesson that I saw put up by the um, Elder Yashawamba of GMS Dallas. Okay, he did a lesson on how you had, you know, this, this family of Israelites that knew that they were Israelites. They came up to see the, 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 the brothers out there in um, South Carolina and they gave them gifts and, you know, they showed their appreciation. Okay. And um, that, that lesson was inspiring because, you know, us brothers, man, we, 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 we wholeheartedly believe in this truth, man. Lord willing, we endure until the end, man. You know, we, we look forward to, you know, the most high setting up the kingdom. All right. And, and, um, you know, that was just a um, telltale sign that the elect is being sealed, man. Okay. And, you know, brothers been laboring, you know, beginning with our apostle, Don's Green Millstone. And they've been laboring for a long time, man. Okay. And, um, you know, when you see Israelites waking up, you know, we know that, you know, the, the word is being spread and the message is being received. Okay. So, um, this is Isaiah 55 verse 11. It says, so shall my word be that go forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please. And it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. All right. So the most high's words is found in the Bible. Okay. And the, and the most high's words is spoken by his mouthpiece, the prophets. Okay. Because the Most High speaks through us, the prophets, which we believe we are those prophets, okay? So the Most High's word is going forth out of his mouth. The, his mouthpiece is the prophets, right? And we're out there prophesying, you know, prophesying of what's to come, which is the kingdom of heaven. But before the kingdom of heaven comes to pass, you know, there has to be a time of trouble, okay? That, that time is known as Jacob's trouble. When I tell, we're telling our people to get right. And to repent, you know, so that they may have a chance at uh, being delivered out of that time of trouble. Okay? Because only the elect is going to be delivered. So we're giving warning to our people, man. And we're showing them their, their uh, nationality. You know? So it says, it shall not return unto me void. Yeah, so the words that's written in this book is not going to return unto the Lord void, meaning empty. Meaning that is, you know, these words are not going to come to pass. No, the Most High said they are not going to return to me void, meaning they are going to come to pass. Why? Because the Most High is not a man that he should lie, pursuant to Numbers 23 and 19. All right? And whatever the Most High, um, as the Most High thought, that, that shall come to pass, man. This is the Most High's movie. Okay? The Most High said his word is above his name. The Most High is a man of his word. You know, unlike, you know, Unlike the mortal man of this world, the natural man, all right, they, they, they're, not, they're not men of their own words, all right? But the Most High is, and his, and his men are, which are the elect of the nation of Israel, okay? So um, that was it on that. And, and um, let's move on, man, because, you know, one of those prophecies that's not going to return unto the Lord void is, um, you know, the elect being sealed, man. All right, which is pursuant to Revelation, the seventh chapter, how it mentions about the 144,000 and the great multitude being sealed, man. And once that's once that once that sealing happens, then then the Most High is going to bring forth the uh, destruction. So this is Isaiah chapter 44, verse one. It says, "Yet now hear, O Jacob, my servant, and Israel, whom I have chosen. Thus saith the Lord." That made thee and formed thee from the womb, which will help thee. Fear not, O Jacob, my servant, and thou, Jeshurun, whom I have chosen. Verse 3. For I will pour water upon him that is thirsty, and floods upon the dry ground. Yeah, and that's all that's all um parabolic for the most high um giving this giving us this uh knowledge back, man. Okay? Because the elect you know, which the elect is being sealed, 
All right, the brothers that's that's waking up to this truth and doing the will of Yahweh Shemel Shah, they have the hopeful elect. So you got the hopeful elect out there. You know, they were searching for the truth. All right, they were searching for answers of, you know, these conditions that we've been set to live in. Okay? And the Most High have, uh, in these last days, raised up the prophets, all right, and the teachers, okay? And and, and they have, uh, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shemel Shah, they have... Uh, Enlighten the the rest of the brothers that's waking up to to who they are and to 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 what's really going on. Okay, you know it began with uh, Abba Vivens, you know, all the way on down to the Apostle Noah's Great Millstone until the brothers that's still coming in and 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 um laboring to this day. Okay, so it says for I will pour water upon him that is thirsty. All right, and the water is symbolic for this word. Okay. This, this word is likened unto water. Okay? The scriptures say, how, how, how shall a young man cleanse his way? By taking heed unto the word of the Most High. Okay? It says, and floods upon the dry grounds. Yeah, because Israel was, was that dry ground. The Israelites. The scriptures tell you, man, Israel was a, a scattered sheep. But guess what? The Lord is returning that, 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 that scattered sheep by hearing the voice of the Lord. Pursuing to... Uh, St. John 10 and 27, my sheep hear my voice. All right, so the sheep of the Lord is, 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 is being um, gathered back, okay, which is the elect of the nation of Israel, man, okay? And it says, upon the dry ground, I, I will pour my spirit upon thy seed and my blessing upon thine offspring. It says, and they shall spring up as, um, as among the grass, as willows by the water courses. All right, so the elect is likened unto um to to um seeds that's being watered. All right, and the Most High is giving that increase. All right, and though those seeds that are being watered are, are becoming uh you know great plants. All right, the scriptures say what? Let my let my plant be kept in uh, Second Ezra the ninth chapter, for with great labor have I um you know watered it. Roughly, matter of fact. Let me just get there real quick. I don't want to butcher it since we're reading about, you know, the, the elect being planted, right? So, um, 2nd Ezra's 9. 2nd Ezra 9, 22. Let the multitude perish then which was born in vain and let my grape be kept and my plant for with great labor have I made it perfect. Yeah, so with great labor have the most high made you know, brothers are uh, perfect in their faith. Okay. You know, brothers out there doing the works, you know, giving diligence to make the calling lecture sure, presenting by his living sacrifice. All right. Forsaking this world, putting his truth before everything in their life. Okay. So that's, that's the most high. Like it says right here, Isaiah 44 and 4. They shall spring up as among the grass and willows by the water courses. All right. That's an example of that right there. By us springing up. Us coming back to life, man. All right. It says, one shall say, I am the Lord's, Yahweh's. And another shall say, another shall call himself by the name of Jacob. And another shall subscribe with his hand unto the Lord and shall name himself by the name of Israel. All right, so we're not, you know, the brothers that's waking up to this truth, brothers and a few sisters that's waking up to this truth. All right, we're not calling ourselves uh, African Americans, uh, Haitians, uh, West Indians, and Dominicans, Puerto Ricans, Mexicans, um, you know, Hondurians, you know, so forth and so on, Native Americans. We're not calling ourselves by those bywords anymore. We're calling ourselves, all right, we're, we're Israelites, okay? Banya Sharala. You know, you might, you might, you might, um, have a Hebrew name, Kassad, Ban Yahawada, Ban Yasharala. All right. We're, you know, we're coming back to our nationality, you know, knowing that we're, 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 we're we come from a prospective tribe out of the nation of Israel. And, you know, our forefather is Jacob. Okay. And the name of the Lord is Yahweh Ba Shimei Oshai. We're calling upon the name of the Lord and we're thinking upon that name. Okay. So that was on that. Isaiah 55 verse 1. Ho, 
every one that thirsteth, come yet come ye to the waters, and he that have no money, come ye buy and eat. Yea, come buy wine and milk without honey and without price. Okay? And that's dealing with um, you know, gathering this knowledge. Okay? It says, everyone that thirsteth, come ye to the waters. And what's the waters? This, this word, man. The scriptures tell you that he that believe on Yahweh Shai, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living waters. Okay? Um, as a matter of fact, there's a scripture that say, um, that Yahweh Shai said that, you know, roughly roughly speaking, you drink of the waters that I give you, you shall never thirst. Let me, let me see if I can find it. Yeah, right here. St. John. Chapter, there's two, but um, as a matter of fact, I get the one in St. John 4 and 14. St. John chapter 4, verse 14. But whosoever drinketh of the water that I shall give him shall never thirst, but the water that I shall give him shall be in him a well of water springing up into everlasting life. Yeah, that, and that represents having this truth, having this knowledge, all right? Having faith in Yahweh Shemel Shah, believing in those names, all right? Because like I said, you know, when you believe in Yahweh Shai, you know, you, 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 and you, you know, you clean your act up, you know, you repent to the Most High, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, you know, the Most High bestows upon you the Holy Spirit, and the Spirit begins to sup with you, you know, Yahweh Shai begins to sup with you, man, okay, and it's, like it says right here, you, 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 you will be likened to, um, a well of water springing up into everlasting life, okay, because this truth is life, man. All right, this truth is life, is light, and anything outside this truth are the ways of death and darkness. Okay, anything outside this word is the ways of death and darkness. So let me jump back to um, Isaiah 55. It says, And he that have no money, come ye buy and eat. Yeah, all right, because we're we not supposed to be paying for breakdowns. You know, we're not supposed to be paying, um, you know, for, 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 the, for the understanding of who we are, man. All right. That's supposed to be given to us freely. All right. Pursuant to this scripture, this precept I'm about to give right now. This is uh, Matthew chapter 10. Verse 8, it says, and this is Yahweh Shah speaking to his uh, 12 disciples, right? It says, heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead. Yeah, and spiritually, that's what we're doing today, man. Okay? And that's a form of spiritual power. Because back then, they were, they were literally doing that. You know, they were healing Israelites from their infirmities and also giving them this truth and this knowledge. But um, in these times, you know, our people are being healed spiritually by them coming out of the ways of this wicked world. By them coming out of that American, that Americanized way of thinking. Okay? You know, it's, it's, a, it's a miracle, it's a wonder. Because you might have had an Israelite man that didn't know that he was an Israelite. He was out there in the world, you know, and you know, and um involved in whatever worldly matters he was involved in, whether it was wickedness or whether it was just, you know, trying to be. Uh, successful in this society, man, as far as, you know, being, having, being wealthy, you know, which we know, you know, what you have to do in order to obtain wealth, you know, which is sell your soul, whether it was being wealthy or, you know, you know, whatever, whatever they was engulfed in, man, for them to, to, to let all of that go and to serve the Lord and keep the law, statutes, commandments and to say that they are the Hebrew Israelites. You know, to call upon the name of the Lord and to, you know, go into these breakdowns and understand the scriptures. That's a miracle, man. Okay. That's an example of healing the sick. Because our people were spiritually sick. They, they were spiritually dead. They were in the congregation of the dead. All right. And two thirds of them still are. And they're going to remain there until the Most High destroy them. But the elect is being returned. Okay. And it says right here. Cast out devils, yeah, and, and you know, spiritually, that's what we're doing, you know, brothers that's doing his work, 
you know, we're, we're, we're casting out these, these devils, man, these, these unclean spirits within the, our people, man, the elect, because the elect is hearing his word and, you know, they're repenting and they're applying these scriptures into their life. All right. So those, those unclean spirits are leaving them, man. And their faces are starting to shine due to that, having that wisdom. Right. So it says. Freely you have received, freely give. Yeah, so it says freely you have received it because uh, the disciples, they received the understanding freely by Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai didn't charge them money. Okay? He didn't charge them substance. No, they got they got the understanding for free. So we got to do the same thing. We can't be, you know, we can't be out there uh, charging for breakdowns of the 12 tribes and you know, so forth and so on. Because you had guys that were doing that, man. Guys setting up websites and trying to sell breakdowns, man. And those breakdowns were wrong anyway. You know? That's wicked, man. Okay, scriptures. And that's why Yahweh Shai, all right, when you had them, when you had them simple uh, jakes, you know, 2,000 years ago, when Yahweh Shai was on the scene, all right, they was in the temple of the Lord, all right, um, you know, making the Lord's, look, making the Most High's uh, temple, a house of merchandise. And what do Yahweh Shai do, man? Yahweh Shai beat the hell out of them guys, man. And told them, get the hell up out this house, man. This is not a house of merchandise, man. You, you know what I'm saying? But you got you got a lot of hirelings within our people, man. But that's neither here on it, neither here here or there. All right, let's get back to the um topic. Right? This is uh Proverbs 10 and 21. The lips of the righteous feed many, but fools die for want of wisdom. All right, so the lips of the righteous feed many. All right, because as we read in um, Isaiah, the, the 55th chapter, all right, this word is, um, this word is likened unto wine and milk. And it said, uh, buy and eat, come buy wine and milk without money and without price. So this, this word is likened unto food. Okay, it's also likened unto honey. I thought it said honey, but you know, the scriptures go into how this word is compared to honey as well. You know, how it become it's sweet in our mouth, but um, you know, the longer you endure in this truth, it becomes bitter because you gotta deal with with um the temptations and you know the uh, tribulations. You gotta bear your cross, right? So it said, the lips of the righteous do Proverbs. 10 and 21, the lips of the righteous feed many, but fools die for want of wisdom. Okay? So the, the, the lips of the righteous, which is the uh, prophets and the teachers, the men of the Lord, that's doing this, that's doing the will of Yahweh Shimei Shah, they're out there feeding uh, the elect. Okay? Feeding them with this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Like it says in, um, I believe it's uh, Jeremiah, I believe it's Jeremiah 3rd chapter, which says, I will give you pastors according to my heart. Which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. All right, and that's what the Lord's doing. The Most High's uh, setting up pastors according to His heart. And the pastor is a prophet, man. Okay, and 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 you know, you know, brothers is waking up through the YouTube. You know, we saw we saw our pastor knows great millstone on YouTube. All right, and eventually we got built it up, and we started going out there and teaching, because we understand that in order for the kingdom of heaven to be established. The elect got to be sealed, man. Okay? Um, Let's move on. This is... uh, This is uh, Hosea 1 and 10. Yet the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea, which cannot be measured nor numbered. Yeah. All right? The children of Israel were as the sand of the sea. Okay, we, we cannot be measured nor numbered. You can't put a number on Israel. You can't do a census on the Israelites. It's too many of us. Okay? It says, And it shall come to pass that in the place where it was said unto them, Ye are not my people, there it shall be said unto them that ye are the sons of the living power. Okay? Um, it says, In the place where it was said unto them, Ye are not my people. And what and what place where what place was it said unto us, We are not the Lord's people? Well, if you go into the scriptures and you deal with the different kingdoms that we was uh 
enslaved under and in captivity under, which, you know, prior to uh, King David and King Solomon, you know, reigning, all right, our, our people have been in many captivities, man, you know, all throughout the different time periods in history, man. We knew who we were, though, in those captivities. We knew that we were, we were the Israelites, all right? We knew we were the Israelites during the Egyptian captivity, all right, during the time of the Book of the Judges, okay? Um, the captivities when we were, you know, during the time of the Book of the Judges, when we were going through the different captivities, we knew that we were Israelites. That's why they were calling on the name of the Lord, so the Lord would deliver them. Um, you know, during the time of the Babylonian captivity, we knew that we were Israelites, the um, medial Persian Empire, the Syrian, the Syrian captivity as well. They knew that they were Israelites. Okay. And that's why you had them 10 tribes. They came over here to America to, um, you know, that they, they you know, to, to um, try to, you know, have a fresh restart and keep the Lost Dutch Commandments because they wasn't able to keep the Lost Dutch Commandments in the land of Israel. All right. And plus, you know, all them heathens was put into that land. Okay. You know, the Assyrian captivity, the Babylonian captivity, we know we were Israelites. The Medo Persian captivity, we knew we were Israelites. The Greek captivity, we knew we were Israelites. Um, the Even in the Roman captivity, we knew we were Israelites, man. The only time we didn't know we were Israelites was in this time that we are in now, which is um, the captivity of, you know, the, the, the second extension of the Roman Empire, which is America, Babylon the Greek. All right, because we discontinued from our heritage, because the so-called white man deceived us, and he, um, like it says, they they oppress a man in his house, even a man in his heritage. They, they, they beat our nationality out of us. All right, they gave us these bywords. They called us these bywords. All right, you know, and eventually we forgot who we were. We 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 lost our language. All right, our customs. Okay. So it was it was this place in this captivity right now, this present time now, where it was said to us that we were not the uh we were not the people of the most high, which are the Israelites. But as it says right here, there it shall be said unto them that ye are the sons of the living power. Yeah. Pursuant to Ezekiel the thirty seventh chapter. All right. The 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 um the flesh and the, and the uh, sinews upon those dry bones are being restored, which those dry bones represents uh the, the, the elect. Because only the elect is going to come back to his knowledge And their, their body is going to be restored You know They're going to come back to life Alright Because the two thirds They're going to they're gonna be destroyed man They're going to continuously rebel and, and reject this word Okay But yeah it's being, it's being said right now That we are the, the, the Israelites Okay you got many people waking up. You got celebrities coming out and saying that we the Israelites. You even got some so-called white people that's, um, you know, telling the truth, man. You know, coming out and saying who the real Jews are, man. All right? So that was on that. Let's get, uh, let's get Baruch, the second chapter. You know, because this is a beautiful thing, man. And like I said... You know, that, that video that I saw, you know, of um the brother out there in South Carolina, you know, the head brother, Manatsu Zakba, all right, you know, you had them, uh, that family, they came out to see the brother, you know, and they, and they, they learned from him, okay, and um that, that was inspiring, man, that was inspiring because, you know, that, that lets us know that this word is not going out void, and, you know, people are, you know, the people are being edified, man, and the elect is being sealed and prophecy is being fulfilled. Okay, and the end is near. Because you got Israelites waking up all around the four corners of the earth, man. You got camps in um, Europe, you know, the different uh, countries in Europe. You got camps in South America. You got camps in Africa. You got camps in Canada. You got camps all around the world, man. This is a beautiful time that we're living in, man. You know, just the other day you had, you know, you had Israelites out there teaching the name of Yahweh Shemel Shah in the Philippines. Okay? So we know that these prophecies are coming to pass, man, and the end is coming. Alright, so we're going to get Baruch. Baruch, the second chapter, the 30th verse. It says, For I knew that they would not hear me because it is a stiff necked people. 
Yeah, it's going into the Israelites, man. Okay? They're stiff-necked people. And majority of our people, they will not hear the Most High. Okay? They will not hearken unto the Most High's uh, prophets, man. Okay? They will, not, they will not hearken unto the word of the Lord. Okay? That's why the scriptures say, um, you know, if needs be, we got to prophesy unto the wind. Right? Because the although majority of our people don't listen because if they did listen there will be crowds of people every week coming out to, to hear this word you know but it, it don't it don't be like that okay but um you know we got to prophesy to the wind because the elect eventually is going to get into the ears of the elect because like i opened up with the word of the most high don't go out void okay it says but in the land of their captivities, they shall remember themselves. Yeah, in the land of their captivities, they shall remember themselves. Yeah. Okay. And in this present captivity that we're in, we're, we're remembering ourselves. Okay. The, the scriptures say in the book of Jude, the Most High is going to put us into remembrance, though we once knew this. Because the word educate means to draw out. Okay. And the Most High is uh, setting up his prophets to educate the... Uh, the elect, the ones that haven't woken up yet. So the ones that have woken up are educating the ones that 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 are, that haven't woken up yet. All right, and they're drawing 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 out of them this you know the thing that was already in them, which was this knowledge. It just had to be awoken. All right, we just had to be reintroduced into this, man. All right, because if you were a believer and if you had faith in Yahweh, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, back then. You know, going back to the time when Yahweh Shah was on the scene and, and even before then, all right, because everything's reincarnated. All right. In this time, you're going you're gonna you're gonna come back in your rightful lot, which is a believer of Yahweh Shemel Shah. And whether you're a prophet or a help or a teacher, whatever your lot is, you're gonna go you're gonna you're gonna um be set up in that lot and you're gonna be saved. And if you're and if you don't believe, you're gonna be destroyed. Okay, if if you're one of them wicked Israelites, you know, from the past, and you're back here today, you're just here for your judgment, and you're going to be destroyed. Okay? So it says, um, yeah, I'm going to read on, it says, Baruch 2 and 31. And shall know that I am the Lord, their power, for I will give them an heart and ears to hear. Yeah, because it's through the mercy of the Lord that we're waking up to this truth. We didn't we didn't uh learn this truth on our own. We had to be taught by holy men first and foremost. All right, because the most high deals with order. All right, and also, um, you know, we didn't we didn't learn this truth overnight. We didn't just wake up one day and, and, and come to the realization that we're the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel. All right? Because this world promotes that our people don't like to read and study. Okay? So it says, And they shall praise me in the land of their captivity and think upon my name. It says, They shall, yeah. So it says, They shall praise me in the land of their captivity and think upon my name. And that proves that we have the names of the Lord. We have the names of Yahweh by Shemiah Shah. We have the names of the Father and the Son. Because we need those names for salvation. When all hell break loose, you can't the whole world knows the most high son as God and Jesus Christ, which the, they call that that's 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 what they call the most high son ignorantly. Alright? But that can't be the name of the Lord because the scriptures tell you, man, that um the most high pretty much he revealed his secrets unto his servants, the prophets. And, and one of his secrets is his true name. All right? And the name is dreadful among the heathen. All right? The Most High is not going to reveal his name to, to um, you know, somebody that, that's wicked, man. Okay? And majority of these people, they're wicked. You know, how many people just, you know, randomly say, oh, you know, Jesus Christ, you know? That, that can't be his name. Okay? So, yeah, man, we're thinking upon the name of the Lord, man. And we're praising those names. All right? 
So, um, next scripture I'm going to get is uh, Revelation chapter 11, verse 11. And after three days and in half, the spirit of life from the Most High entered into them, and they stood upon their feet, and great fear fell upon them which saw them. All right, and that's dealing with, uh, that's dealing with the elect being woken up to this truth. Okay. Because it started back in the, um, started back in the, the, the late 1960s going into the, you know, 1970s when, um, the most high put the spirit on Abba Vivens, which is Elijah, the prophet coming back, you know, fulfilling the, um, prophecy in Malachi, the fourth chapter. Okay. The Most High raised up Abba Bivens, all right, to um, pave the way for, you know, what you got today. All right, you had Abba Bivens, and then, you know, under him you had, um, you know, the elders that our, our possible has been millstone have told us about, you know, High Priest Ariel, um, you know, Elder Yaquab, all right, uh, King Masha, okay, those men. All right, and that's the Apostles Great Millstone, their elders, okay? And, um, you know, this word has been passed down. The torch has been passed up until the, 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 the new generation of brothers that's coming in, okay? So it says, um, the spirit of life entered into them. Yeah, which is this wisdom and knowledge and understanding of the scriptures. It says... And they stood upon their feet. Yeah. And we st we standing upon our feet every week when we go out there in the highways and the byways to prophesy, man. All right. To present our bodies a little sacrifice. To, sh to, sh to show our faith. And to, um, you know, in, in, in hope and in faith, you know, preach the word that the, it may be, uh, it may be received to the elect of the nation of Israel, man. All right. And um, it says, and great fear fell upon them which saw them. Yeah, great fear fell upon the elites which saw us because their their whole power comes in secrecy and deception. That's where their power lies. Okay, and these 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 elites, which are Edomites, you know, they call themselves the so-called Illuminati. All right, the scriptures call them. Uh, they're known as uh, Lucifer in the scripture. Lucifer on the left hand side. All right. Um, they know that, you know, as long as we don't know who we are as a people, because it's in the scriptures, when the Israelites come back to the troop and realize who they are, the most high is going to deliver them. OK, so that's why they try to keep this too far away from us, man. OK, they didn't, they didn't tell us who we were. And that's why that's another reason why they're going to be destroyed, man, and put into slavery because they hid this knowledge from us. Not only did they hit this knowledge from not only did they hide this knowledge from us, they stole this knowledge and they said that they were the people of the Most High. Okay? So, um, I got like two more scriptures and I'm going to wrap up, man. So, yeah, man, you know, when you see people out there, primarily Israelites, because that's what this word is for, when you see our people waking up, and coming to this truth and repenting, man, you know, that 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 uh that boosts our faith because we know that our labors is not in vain. We know that, you know, the most high is gonna do what he said he was gonna do. Okay. So it's first Corinthians fifteen and fifty two. Fifty first Corinthians fifteen and fifty eight. It says, Therefore, my beloved brethren, be be steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. For as much as ye you know that your labor is not in vain. Okay. So it says be steadfast. Meaning the word steadfast. Meaning being faithful. Alright. That's how we are going to be saved man. By our faith. The scriptures say he that endureth until the end. The same shall be saved. It says unmovable. Yeah. You got to be like a. um. You got to be like that man. Where your house I spoke about in the parable. You know, the, 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 um, the man that built his house upon a rock. All right. So we got to build, uh, we got to build, we got to, we got to be like a rock, man. We got to be unmovable, man. 
You know? It says always abounding in the work of the Lord. Yeah, always abounding in the work of the Lord, man. We got to always abound in this truth, man. Because we're still here in, in, in this um in this kingdom, right? We're still in captivity. The Lord ain't here yet, so we still got work to do. All right? It says, for as much as you know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Yeah, so our labor is not in vain in the Lord. The Lord said he was going to give us praise and fame in the land that we was put to shame. All right? Because although we're abomination to the wicked, all right, you have... You know, you have sincere brothers and sisters out there that's that's listening to this truth and that's taking heed and that's that's coming into this truth, man, and, and, and learning. And they're appreciating it. Okay. All right, and the fame of first and foremost, the name of the Lord, Yahabah Shemel Shai, is uh coming to pass, and the name of the Lord is being magnified. And it's gonna be even more magnified when he when he reveals himself and he brings forth his judgment. Okay, and he sends his son back. All right, and also the elect, the brothers that's out there doing his work, they're they're being um exalted, man. Although we're not, you know, what I'm saying that's not where we're in this for, okay. However, it's written in the scriptures, man, and it's coming to pass, okay. So um, the last scripture I got is uh, wisdom of Solomon. Chapter 5, verse 15, it says, But the righteous live forevermore. Their reward also is with Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh and the care of them is with the Most High. Yeah, because when the destruction cometh to pass and them nuclear missiles are shot on this land, the elect, they're going to be beamed up into them chariots. And as we're being beamed up into them chariots, the Most High is going to give us new bodies. We're gonna have new bodies, man, and the Most High is gonna establish His new covenant with us. We're gonna, we're gonna, live, we're gonna have eternal life. We're gonna live forever, man. We're gonna have eternal life. We're gonna live forever. We're never gonna sin again. All right. Death is gonna be swallowed up in victory. Okay. And it starts with this knowledge. It says their reward is all. Their reward also is with the Lord. The scriptures say the Lord is gonna reward every man according to his works. That's why we gotta hold fast what we have, which is this truth. All right, we got we got to um keep our garments. We got to keep them clean too. You know, continuing the things which we have learned, man, and endure sound doctrine. Okay, and the care of them is with the Most High, because the Most High has His angels. The scriptures say the angels and the angels encamp round about them that fear the Lord and delivereth them. So the angels of the Lord is around the, the men of the Lord. Okay, and protecting those men. All right, and that's why, you know, when all hell break loose, you know, yeah, you're going to have some men of the Lord that's put to death for this word, but but they're going to be risen right back up. They still going to be a part of the first fruits. And the ones that that don't taste of death, you know, they're going to be taken care of in the time of Jacob's trouble, man. All right, they're going to they're not going to be worried about famine, they're not going to be worried about the sword. The Lord is going to be with us 100% completely. Okay, so um, it says, Therefore shall they receive a glorious kingdom and a beautiful crown from the Lord's hand. For with his right hand shall he cover them, and with his arm shall he protect them. All right, because the Lord said he's going to be a, a wall of fire around about Jerusalem and the kingdom of heaven. Okay, and it said we're going to receive a glorious crown. All right, pursuant to Second Ezra, the second chapter, where the, the elect was being crowned for standing stiffly for the name of the Lord, man. Okay, for uh, doing his work. Okay, and we're going to receive that glorious kingdom, man, which is the kingdom of heaven. All right, and that's what we're looking forward to, man. That's why we're doing this work. And we see this kingdom falling fast. All right, this place is done, man. It's never coming back. So we have great things to look forward to, man. And that's why. You know, we're, we're doing these lessons, man. And the Most High is showing signs and wonders. You know, that he's with us and that he's coming, man. So you brothers out there and you few sisters out there that, 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 that watch and learn, you know, stay strong, man. All right? Keep the faith. Keep praying and believing in the Abba Shemel Shai, man. All right? Because change is coming, man. 
All right. So um, with that, I'm gonna give all praise on and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahushai, Ba'ashim Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and others, great millstone, and Shalom, Ababa Ball.